board of education. It shouldn't be that much of a job. It's not. So as long as it's tested through the health department. What's the hobby you are here? Every year. Sure. Open, close, and then see. Behave themselves? We should be trying. They won't cost well, what have you heard? I mean, we should probably pay John. Yeah, hey, all I can do now is pay my own borders. But unless we need a licensed, well made I think it would be good, and I, I'll have to check. You know, that's my job. <laughs> yep. For sure, as long as he has a plumbing license, the yeah. state of Michigan. Because, I mean, people in cotton just open and close their mouths all the time. Kind of oh, yeah, right. So, you know, I don't know. Um, Is that an actual well right there? In Leonard, it's an actual well, yeah. So. How, how far of a run is it to the well? So we're down by two, aren't we? Or uh, from the building? fountain to the, yeah, the wellhead? Uh, if we can get a quorum, oh, if we need one for yeah, more. Somewhere around in there. But yeah, it's not that far. The well house sits right here, and the fountain's right there. The bike fixing station, and then we can then take care of the bills and stuff. There, we just can't do the budget maintenance or anything. Well, I don't know if we can't do budget maintenance, but we can't do anything that we're. There we go. I think I found my five dollars. I know what it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the it's the size of the uh, water line. Ah, okay. Good. It was a three quarter inch, but yeah. we needed an inch, and that was the difference in the price. There you go. I knew it was just going to be a matter of wow. These are fancy. They must have a lot of money. They got everything. 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 I just I think I pick him up if we're coming out this wire. I just went to Oxford and I thought, he's, he's the main rest. So he's the main rest. So he's the main rest. 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 He's the I know where to go and Joe Frost will You can say, back. hey, George, why don't you? Yeah, so, you know, it's terrible. And they do that all the time. Off. If we only had a George. <laughs> I was just going to call it Curtis. <laughs> or like, uh, or Joe. Yeah. Hey, Joe, why do you do yeah. it like this? Well, you know, it's, it's funny because you go to Oxford Township and, you know, they hear me come in and you see Curtis's door shut. <laughs> <laughs> little by little. <laughs> then you hear the little latch. <laughs> yeah, At least it's not slamming. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's, Bill Dunn, you just kind of see him sneak up inside. Oh, yeah, Bill. I asked Bill. Bill, yeah. Bill doesn't even, he's not even polite about it. No, he, he turned. He just, put your back right to you. He, just, he walks by the little um, partitions and you kind of just see him sneak down behind the desk. <laughs> he doesn't do that for everybody. Just <laughs> me. <laughs> just women. Just me. I'm okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You're on Ready? camera. Yeah. Like I think. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to call the meeting to order. Um, it was a little bit after three. I'd like to welcome everyone. Uh, this is the uh, Pollyann Trailway Management Council regular meeting for October. We're meeting this month at the Addison Township offices. Um, today is October 18, 2017. Um, could we have a roll call for attendance of the council members, please? Yes. Mike McDonald. Here. Curtis Wright. Here. Donnie Steele. Here. LJ Nichols. Here. Bruce Pierce. Here. Eric. Yes. Uh, Ron Absent. Uh, let's see. Kevin Green. Here. David Bailey. Absent. Sue Bosardi. Absent. Alex Kennedy. Absent. Linda Moran. Here. Okay, and Ron Slewinski did notify me that he would not be able to attend, so he's excused if that applies. Okay, if we can stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a brief invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, thank you for the, this gorgeous day. Thank you for the brilliant colors of the trees, especially along the Pollyann Trail. Um, we pray for our country, our state, our nation, 
our local governments, and um, everybody here gathered today as our board and manager, TV, and our audience, um, and all our families. Um, we thank you for your freedoms to gather, to pray, to talk freely, to make decisions that help the government as a whole and our trail. And please guide us during this meeting uh, with wisdom. As we pray, amen. Thank you. Let's wish everybody a happy Halloween early. <laughs> okay. Um, we did the call to order and the call. Council has before it a uh, tentative agenda. Are there any additions, deletions? If not, a motion to approve the agenda would be approved. I make a motion on the approval of the agenda as presented. I'll second the motion for discussion. Uh, Donnie? Um, I did want to add, sorry, um, I wanted to add an update on the table, the picnic table for Sue Bel Airs for old business okay. under B if that's okay to sure. amend. Item F. You got it? Yeah. F. Okay, is motion still stand to amend with, to add the item? I'll amend it to add the item. Okay. I'll second the amendment. All those in favor of the motion to <coughs> adopt the amended agenda, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say no. Okay. First item of business is the consent agenda. Council received the minutes. I did get a note from uh, Mr. Wright from Oxford Township that we uh, had to fix a name. Is that all? And the name was fixed. I did fix the name. Okay. Um, we had the wrong interim manager's <laughs> name. Okay. So it's uh, Evan Teach? Yes. Is the proper name. Correct. Not Instead of, yeah. Okay. Instead of Drew. Okay. Were there any other items on the uh, minutes that needed revision or to be addressed? If not, a motion to approve the amended minutes would be in order. Well, I guess we'll do that as part of the consent agenda. Treasurer's report. Council received uh, the monthly bills. Uh, should be 5E1 in your packet. Uh, and the amount of it appears $4,500.91. And then we received our financial report. Donnie, did you have anything you wanted to reveal to the, okay. And then we received the trail manager report. So with that, uh, we would like a motion to approve the uh, consent agenda, including the uh, approval of bills and the amount stated. So moved. moved by Donnie Steele. Support. Is that Mr. Nichols? Yeah. Any questions? Just, um, uh, just a comment. These, these bills were, were, were paying here. These have already been paid, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if we were to not approve the bills, we'd have to void out the check that's been paid and reissued? I mean, how would we go about that? Well. If we don't approve a bill, we've already been right. paid. Right. Well, we have to go through the process, I guess, of revoking it. Okay. Whatever that would take. Um, I don't know that the council's ever done that, but just a point. Oh. No, I, I, not that I'm not that I'm familiar with. Okay. I know that Joe pays them on the fifteenth of every month. Right. So. Yeah, my understanding is is that um, the councils in the past adopted the the consent agenda. Um, in order to allow the payment of bills so that they wouldn't be late uh, being paid. You know, the regular bills, utilities, and things that were scheduled. Um, the prepays. Right. The prepays. So, so if anything isn't that, then I would, that would probably be close to what you're talking about. Uh, Plus, I would imagine with yourself and Linda, you would make sure that that bill's legitimate before the yeah. authorities are paying. Yeah. Joe, Joe, uh, uh, Ferrari is very good about communicating when he has questions or um, suggestions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and he he frequently calls me to clarify things to make sure everything is on the up and up, and I'm in there frequently dropping out bills and making sure it yeah. is, and I make copies of everything. <laughs> so. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a, uh, a motion and a support for the consent agenda and paying the bills in the amount of $4,500.91. Uh, do we have a roll call if there are no further questions? Go ahead, Linda. Yep, Mr. McDonald. Yes. Mr. Nichols. Yes. Mr. Pearson. Yes. Eric. Yes. Kevin. Oh, you don't count. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Yes. Donnie Steele. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, moving on to public comment. Uh, this is an opportunity for the public to address the council. Uh, we ask that you be brief and to the point. And uh, if there is an item on the agenda, we usually uh, are willing to uh, hear other comments as well. Anybody here care to address the council? Yes. Could you identify yourself? Maureen Helmuth, Oxford Village Council. Oh, okay. We are shaking things up. We don't have a permanent person who can come to this meeting yet. Next council meeting, we're going to try to appoint one person and make everybody else an alternate. So when there's a problem, anybody can come. Right now, I could be here, but I can't vote on anything, so. Because you haven't been authorized. Right. So just let, we're taking care of it. If there's any problems, let us well, know. Well, thank you for that, because I had emailed Mr. Bailey and offered to provide transportation. And the bigger problem is we all have jobs. There's only one of us who doesn't work during the day. Oh, so oh, getting here at 3 o'clock, right. okay, who's not working today, or who doesn't have something else going? We're going to figure it out, and we'll get somebody here. Okay. Great. Well, thank you for stopping by once. I'm just catching up. Okay. All right. If there's no other comment, we'll move on to the citizen representative report. Kevin? I just had one comment. I had uh, I've spoken with a trail user whose husband has a disability, so he has to use uh, you know those tricycles. And they were very pleased with the limestone pressure finds that we use on the trail. Make a comment about that, how nice the trail was, that he's able to use it because of that. Does he, do you know what portion of the trail is? Yeah, it's the southern portion of the Dallas Dodds in London. Great, well thank you for that. Okay, um, now we'll have the uh, trail manager's verbal report. It's sure this Brief and to the point as always. It's only a page and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, I like mine with pepperoni. All right, uh, old business. I've installed the plaque at the uh, Leonard Water Fountain. It looks great. I've adopted the beige with the black. It's going to be uniform across the trail. We've been using it. I think we stick with it. It looks great. Uh, trash cans and donor signs have been installed with the exception of two. Um, the VFW hauled trash can is on hold until we get the PAL street park patio or the cement lake and we have it dug out we're just waiting for the weather uh, also uh, george ingram can't decide where he wants his trash can so once he decides we'll put it out there uh, let's see uh, the trespassing cases i've been in contact with the mdnr and the addison township attorney they're pending more to follow trail cameras are working great um, trespassing and vandalism has been reduced um, the neighbors that are along the trail in Orient Township have uh, sought me out to compliment me on the reduction of motorcycles and all kinds of three-wheelers and everything that have been going down there because I notify people there's cameras on the trail and we prosecute. Uh, the loggers in Leonard have finished the logging. They have repaired the trail. I talked to Brian Frey. He was going to send me an email requesting the return of his performance bond. I said he had to have it to me by noon today. I have yet to receive it. So I'll present it when we get it. Uh, the <coughs> road is repaired. Uh, Dave and I laid a 16 foot wide, 100 foot long erosion mat, uh, M dot quality. We backfilled 39 tons of rocks and milling. Uh, we cleared the area of brush, retrenched the side of the trails. Uh, we did it on the west side as well. So it's looking great. I, mean, I went by there the other day. It's really holy nice. It's that was packed. all at Curtis Road? It was all at Curtis Road. And then just to give the council yeah. an idea, how much time, volunteer time, did we, and your time uh, total, did we get into that, do you think? Just on that day, we probably spent an eight-hour day, okay. maybe a nine-hour day. The two of you? The two of us. Plus his equipment. Plus his equipment. Okay. Yeah, we were out there, and we kind of moved down the trail. We started at Curtis. We started there at eight. Um, they came and dropped. Ken Freeman dropped 
29 tons there at 10 o'clock in the morning. So we had trenched that whole area out by 10. We laid the mat down, he dumped it. Then when we were done with that, probably, I'm gonna say somewhere around two, one or two, we headed down the trail towards Oxford. We got to Oxford as we were going down the trail. I was in my pickup ahead of day. I'd stop, point out a dead tree, he'd take the bulldozer and he knock the dead tree up, you know, away from the trail. And then we continued on the trail. Uh, we did address uh, the washout at State Street. We did address the um, dip that runs along Lake George Road. And we tried to trench out another area by the gravel pit area that we've been having some trouble with. It didn't work out. We repaired it again today with a culvert. We just dug it out, we put a culvert in, it's done. It won't, it's not gonna go over that trail again. What, what size culvert? We used actually a, a four inch PVC pipe because it wasn't a big area, it was just a little area that needed a little shushing okay. to get the water off from one side to the other. I just, I just like that we should thank Ken Freeman, who's also one who donated his time and yes. wrote that parking lot in. He's and he brought the stone over. Yeah. He's a, a, a very good much. volunteer for Adams the Township. So, yeah. um, Super nice guy. Thanks for helping. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's Super nice guy. Yep. Yeah. He has all the equipment. Yeah. Very fortunate. Yeah. yeah, he delivered it. It was right on the spot. Just, you know, whatever you need. And I spent two hours out in the gravel pit with this poor guy. What is this rock? What does that rock mean? How do I get this rock? So, and he was very kind and very patient. Just, just a top-notch fellow. Um, so we did that. We've got, the trail's looking better than it has in a long time. We've got a lot of the issues taken care of. Um, we're working on the Orient Township Library Proofs. I do have a couple of signs. Um, we're looking at about, I can pass this around. Uh, where is my cost? The cost breakdown is a single-sided is $260, a double-sided is $325. This is for the building. They want something in the parking lot so people will park in the back of the Orion Township Public Library so they know that they're donating the parking lot back there for the Pollyann Trail. They would like a little sign that says trail, pointing towards the trail, and something on the trail side saying the library and bathrooms are that way. So this is the one that we want to put in the parking lot. You know, your opinion, I have a couple of different styles. Um, you know, you can take a look at them. We've got a couple of them. You guys, this is the nicest one. It's the less, the less bunched up looking. You know, it's much neater. So, so do you want us to put our initials on the one we like? Yeah. That's a good one. As we pass yeah. it down. I like the one with the ones with the logos at the bottom because it's less cumbersome. It takes your eye away if you have them all over the place. So that's that. Um, we made it the second round of the Birmingham Gives. We made it, uh, we were 12th out of 15, so we did get $1,500. I sent you an email, I think I sent Donnie one. They would like to take photos with some of us, all of us. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Thank you guys for well telling well yeah. If you guys you know, hadn't voted, we wouldn't have $1,500. So, and it's free money, we don't have to pay it back, we don't have to earmark it, we can do whatever we want with it. Which is nice, you know, if we want to do a special project with it, or just buy rock, because I've been spending a lot of money on rock this year. <laughs> or culverts. Um, yeah, well, yeah. So, we've been offered a water fountain at Clarkson Road. Uh, Clarkson Road, we're cleaning it up. I don't know, Donnie, have you been out there? Have you seen it? Okay, working yeah, on it. Been, I've been there too. I went to look at and? it. And? Yeah, looking good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so a donor has offered to give us uh, a fountain. Uh, the problem with that is the trenching part and the hookup fee is the most expensive part. We've got um, to pay somebody to trench that out and do the hookup is, is cost prohibitive. I mean, we would never be able to afford it. He's willing to do it for free. He's willing to donate all the pipes, the electrical work, the cement pad. I said, I told him, I said, I want to be able to go out and push the button on that fountain and water come out. And I don't want it to cost me a dime, you know. And he said, I'll take care of you. I got it. The only problem we have is a non-waivable fee of $15.91.40. There is a few dollar difference, um, I've been informed. Plus or minus a few dollars. Then are we talking about okay, this year or are we talking about next year? 
don't know if the donor can come up with the cash this year. He's an organ. He's part of an organization that raises money and gives it to organizations. And I believe their budget is spent for this year. The fountain portion may come next year. But if we can get it, so oh, so we would still up, have, even though the fountain is there, we would have the hookup <coughs> done. For, right. Okay. So basically, we would have to do when we do get the fountain, okay. be it this year or next spring. We just take it, set it on the okay. cement foundations. We're done, hook it up, turn the lever. Okay. And it's going to have its own underground meter and bunker, basically. So we won't need a well house. It'll be under the ground. We take the top off, we turn it on, we turn it off for the year. It has meter reader on it, on that, so Arnie Township can combine and read the meter. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Just to uh, be clear, 1598, you're talking about when does that has to, when does that have to be paid? When we hook up, when, when we tap up. in. Yeah, so that could be next year. If we, Linda would like to get it done this year. I'd like to get it done. Yeah. That's, that's her goal. Yeah. And that's, that sparks the discussion about how on, much yeah. on and whether yeah. it's on this year's budget or next year's. So, right. so I included it in this right. year's based on her logic. Right. So. Yeah, because the donor's willing to give it tomorrow. I mean, he'll go out there and dig it up, hook it up, be ready to go. But I don't know if our fountain donor, who's a different gentleman, has the ability to donate the money for the fountain this year. That may not come until next year. Kevin, do you have a question? Well, I kind of go back to the last two things he's mentioned. Going back to the $1,500 donation, because we're close to the end of the year. Does that money, I don't know exactly when it comes in, yeah, but yeah. in order to, you want to be able to account for it. and. It's kind of an issue with cash flow. If you put it in this year's budget and don't spend it, then it just kind of gets absorbed. Right. You guys kind of dedicate it to something. Not that she said anybody's really until, yeah, until, until we have the check in our hot little hands. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, we're, we're it's a sure thing, but we don't know when. So right, but but let's say we get it in a couple of weeks, and then we don't, you know, so we deposit it, but we don't spend it on anything. Is it there for us next year, or does it just help us balance things out this year, and then we really haven't <coughs> spent on anything? Specific? Well, we're able to balance this year without you, without including it. However, if it were to come in um, before the end of our calendar year, we would include it as a income income in this in this calendar year, and that would affect our the balances in in. Uh, Accounts and expenditures. Would it help them to use it for this fountain that she's talking about? Maybe. Well, we're going to find the money. We've got the money. It's just a matter of moving it. Yes. Uh, may I just interject? We're not going to be able to use it this year because yeah. that uh, frost is going to be in the ground here shortly. So why don't we let that man have extra time to make sure he has the money and then do it in the spring, and then it'll be open for use for the whole year instead of putting it in and then having to winterize it now. Right up there. It's not going to be used during the winter. Well, I don't think it will need to be winterized. It's it's yeah. just in, it's in all they're doing is putting an underground valve in and a and a box for connection for connections and meter. Right. And, and that, basically, the plumbing that would come out of the ground, so we would have to put a cover over that or whatever we need to protect it over the winter. And it's four feet under the ground. You mean so yeah, it's not going to frost. Really shut it off or anything. Actually, what it has is um, it has a little bunker box underground. And you can reach under there with a, a key lever, and you basically turn a switch. Just it's on, water line, yeah, and then it. The street, yeah, right, so. exactly. Yeah, that's the yeah. same as the village. I mean, it's well, not going to be used this year, probably. Right. Well, I think it's a matter of strike while the iron is hot. Right. We've got we've got a volunteer that's willing to do the hookup work. If we provide the funds, we get the the basic work done, and then it's just a matter of when the when the fountain is donated or whatever happens, right. we'll be ready to do it. We won't have to do like I did and scramble to get water and <laughs> fountain it together. Mr. Wright. Oh, I'm sorry. First. Oh, you know what, and I think we have, we have it on the agenda. We're going to discuss it, mm -hmm. right, and then and, and I would like to interject about the, the township has donated the capital, yes, and, the capital, lateral, capital and, lateral. and I have it in writing. And I think that's another strike, strike the iron while it's hot type setup. Yeah. 
I mean, it's probably, you know, ten thousand dollars that we're kinda of getting for free. Right. I mean, you know. Is that is that a done deal as far as the donation? Or yes. should we Yeah. No, um the gentleman who's already done the crown. Yeah, I've already Talk to the guy. She's a, they've already come. I, I just have to interject. Yeah. They've already come in the office. They've already filled out the paperwork. They've already talked to the building. So it's like all the preliminary work. So I think that if you put it on the shelf, then you'll have lost all that momentum, right. including all the donors, their time. They're, you know, who knows if they're more busy next year. So I mean, I was prepared to make a motion, but we're, we're still on the anniversary for Well, what's the, what's the hold with the donor again? What's well, the donor with the fountain um, does fundraisers, and the money that they raise from their 5Ks, 10Ks, and half marathons basically uh, go to 501Cs or charities that help runners and bikers and things like that. This year's budget's kind of been spent, so they would put us on the budget for next year. So if they can find the money, they could give us the money this year for the fountain, but he's not sure he can do it. It may have to be tabled for the actual physical fund until next year. So there's no guarantee we'll get the money next year either. Then. I'm pretty confident. He has donated a fountain to uh, Paint Creek with Kristen Myers, and he's he's a very stand-up sort of fellow, and I would absolutely take his word that that's not a problem. And regardless, I think we we all like to see another water supply for for the trail. So if we have to step in next year and address that again, if if this didn't if that work falls out. through, you know, yeah, I'm sure there's. I'm sure there are other. Uh, like to pay for it. And then you, you want to make sure you get it on their budget this year before the end of the year as well. And I told them, I said, you know, thanks kindly for your donations, but I can't do anything until I get you guys to say okay. So if you guys say okay, I'll I'll make the calls tomorrow. We'll talk. We'll talk about it. <laughs> yes. It's just I worked with the water department for a lot of years, and I know even though it's four feet tall four feet down under the frost line, we would still recommend that those pipes be emptied when they it's will shut be. out. They actually, there's a, there's a key level in there that actually will let, once you turn it off, it, it, drain. it drains back into the, okay. the wash system. So. Yeah. Need those pipes to yeah. crack. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anything else, Curtis? No, All right, that's fine. Okay, Linda, sorry to interrupt, go ahead. Oh no, that's, I'm just trying to be speedy, Bruce. <laughs> Uh, let's see, complete automation on Clarkson Road. They are the most fabulous people I've ever met in my entire life. They've donated two bike racks to the trail. One is, was installed at Clarkson Road parking lot and the others will be installed at Powell Street Park. They do it for free. They are absolutely fabulous. They've made these bike racks. They're having them, they're donating them. Their staff is um, installing them. And they're just tickled pink about the trail. It's just every time I go over there to visit these guys, they're like, did you see, did you see, we had, we had a trail day and we cleaned up the trail and we had hot dogs and, you know, it's just, they're just fabulous folks. I love going up there. What is the company again? It's Complete Automation. Okay. It's right on Clarkson Road. Um, they're just great. They bought, they're right next to the trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 They donated, um, the owner's wife passed away last year, Bernice, and uh, he donated a bench. He's donated two garbage cans, two bike racks now. Basically, just the nicest people. Just nice people to know, nice people to deal with. Just, just nice folks. Joe Gwynn, um, he's prepped the cement pads for Clarkston and Powell. Uh, the cement should be in in a few days. Every time he's like, I'm going to be out there, they're brains. So he's working on it, but it's slow but steady. Uh, let's see, we've been working on the Clarkston Road parking lot. I've moved the bench closer to the parking lot, installed the trash can, installed the bike rack. I planted four apple trees, and I'm going to go wrap those things in uh, cantina wire because the deer are just not leaving them alone. Uh, we now have a walkway from the parking lot to the trail, and a walkway from the parking lot to the bench. Uh, we moved two uh, rose bushes on either side of the bench. Um, I'm trying to get a little shine on it because October 25th we have the ribbon county for the iron bell connector, so I'm working on getting that. And did everybody get their sure. notification? I think we did get it in the mail. But anybody wants to applaud one of our member communities for their independent efforts on our behalf? Uh, I you know, should, not should, should be good. I'd also like to mention that I'm desperately in need of a skid steer. 
Where? For Clarkson Road, I kind of want to level it off a little bit, put some grass seed over there. So I'm looking for a free skid steer, Bruce. <laughs> I don't know what a skid steer is. It's a bobcat. It's a bobcat. We have a bob. We just bought one. You Aaron, personally? Aaron bought one. Aaron personally. I have a four wheeler that I don't know what to do. Aaron with, so bought one? I got one of those. Is it chained to something heavy? I haven't, I haven't seen it. All right. Well, you tell Aaron that I'll be coming down to see if it's Yeah, just warn you. They tell my Nori list. Okay, there's no events request at this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He stopped and saw me. I was out with the chainsaw and everything. Uh, let's see. Uh, I would also like to talk about Keith Lynchfield doing a brush cut along the trail uh, for the amount of the grow back we've had this year. He has given us a cost of $1,250. He does recommend it's done twice a year, October and July, to keep the growth back. I have sent him emails that specifically spell out the cut from Boardman to Indian Wood Road, which is longer than what he did last year for us. It includes the village of Oxford um, and then from Drainer to Indian Wood. I specifically spelled that out to him and he came back with the cost of $12.50. I think it's a great idea because otherwise we're just continually fighting a losing battle. You know, for every foot you turn back, there's two feet down the trail that you continually go in. When we get into the areas like out in Addison Township where we have less usage, it's harder to get volunteers out there. There's a lot of brush out there. In the villages in the town, township, Toxford and Orion, we have a lot of people that back up to the trail. It's used a lot more. People kind of help trim the stuff along their property. It's a little easier to take care of in the higher use area. Would you repeat the name of the contractor? It's Keith Lynchfield. Keith Clenchfield? He's the one that did the vertical cut last year for us. Okay. And he's been working up in uh, Leonard. Well, I know Our, there are some questions regarding yeah. that. So yes. uh, we can, I guess we can do that when we do the, when so, we do the main agenda. But basically, that's it. Okay. So. All right. Um, I'll make a motion. Don't we already received and filed? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this was just the verbal. verbal. <laughs> well done, Linda. I tried. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> okay. Uh, as Linda just informed us, under New Business 9A, uh, there are no event requests, and the council will recall that I sent out an email. We did have some changes, mm -hmm. but I think everything worked out. No problem. We never heard anything mm -hmm. further, so everything worked out fine with that. It was a cold, rainy day. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, budget amendments. I included these on the recommendation from our accountant, Joe Ferrari. However, uh, I have gotten some feedback. Um, uh, Curtis, you seem to be on top of this. Yeah, I fed back because I'm, I'm questioning why do we need to make these because we have monies in our budget already versus have to make an amendment. And, you know, you can do six and one half thousand dollars another because you know your contingency is at three thousand seventy three dollars right now right so in my mind it depends on what goes forward from here to the end of the year well th this is th my thinking was this is more of a line item change even though our budget is uh, done by category so we we don't have if we if we borrow from one fund to, or from one line item to use it in another um we're, we're, we don't have to, but we, that, that's just good, good accounting on our part. Um, that's and, and there was a typo uh, that you caught as well. I, th I think the amount was, as Linda said, 1590 9140 9140 yeah. The recommendation is 1950 40 so I don't know where the number that comes was, from. That was my dyslexia. Sorry. <laughs> I think I just got the numbers moved around when I was typing them up. So, you know, to me, it's a matter of if you're comfortable with a $600 balance to not make an amendment, or if you're comfortable making a $2,000 amendment to have $5,000, you know, $5,000 in your maintenance. Well, that's, it, fortunately, it's not my call. That's up to the council. So. I mean, either, to me, either way it works. I'm just, I'm just pointing out that you right. don't have to make your amendment, but if you're well, comfortable with the balance in that line item, Right. And then yeah. my other comment was that this utility's water 
account should be a separate line item as well because you're you're putting that into maintenance of grounds and that right. isn't isn't a good place. To I did it. I did request that of Joe as well, and Joe intend uh, informed me that he would include it in the the next budget. So that's why I I put it in that category, Curtis, just because it's it seemed to fit for for what we have for now. our purposes of one. We're going to only have one quarterly payment if Linda gets it in this year, and that. And it is twenty nine dollars. I I rounded it to thirty for just for the sake of you know ease of accounting. So with that, I don't know if I'll bring it up now or later. So I'll bring it up now. But um, in the fees for Morgan Township, it shows that the water fees twenty five dollars and change, and change. Cents or something. So yeah. as far as the quarterly amount, I don't know which one's right. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You've got enough money to, to cover the bill if you put in thirty dollars. When I actually did the research on the price, she did give me the quote of $29. I don't know if perhaps that included tax, and since we're tax exempt, that was the, the difference or not, but she did quote me $29. So if it's $24.60 something. Yeah. $25.69 is yep. what it says. So yep. I'm getting the first 10 minutes of water. Right. Basically, 7,500 gallons of water a quarter. I don't think we shouldn't even get near no, that. I don't think so. <laughs> if we do, we're checking it because something's up. <laughs> we're flooding the aquifer or something. But uh, so I think she just gave me a, a blanket we'll price. Those bad, we'll all be filling up. Yeah. yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. So I think, uh, I think she just gave me a, a blanket price of twenty nine okay. twenty nine dollars a quarter, just because. Well, I predicated this item on the recommendation of the accountant. Uh, he's the one that suggested transferring the money, <clears throat> but we, as you've heard, and I agree, it's it's six of one half dozen of the other. We can do it, or we don't have to. Do it. We only have so much time. November, December. I don't think we have anything else on the agenda to spend money on, right? Well, wait. Oh, we do. <laughs> We're not there yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, failing and hearing a motion, we can just move on. Unless there is a motion. Okay. Orient Trailhead drinking water connection and fee authorization. Okay, Linda, run real slowly. Yes. We're talking $1,591.40 for connection. Correct. And uh, with the, the payment uh, for the quarter of approximately $29 or $30. That supposedly is included in that amount. Yes, Donnie. I have. I went to the water department after I spoke to Linda, and it's one thousand five hundred and ninety-one dollars and forty cents. And that sheet in our packet is a mistake. So disregard it. Okay. If that helps, this one where it says water right. connection and the numbers, no matter how you fix it, doesn't quite work yeah. right. So. Uh, that was based on a three-quarter inch line and those numbers so that's not accurate so this is accurate because um, we're getting a one inch line a basically. one inch line no quarterly payments because they're um, all we are paying is the tap and fee and the quarterly payments were based on the capital lateral charges borrowing the money over the period of time nice. so so my numbers were right. <laughs> yeah, your numbers were right. Okay. Okay. Tell so, us again what what this is going to cost. Okay. Uh, so I, it's straight on this. I'm coming to motion. Okay. You certainly can. Okay. I would like to make a motion to have um, the Pollyann Trail uh, authorize the manager to pursue the sanitary water connection at a cost of one thousand five hundred ninety-one dollars and forty cents. I'll support it. No, Is there any discussion on the motion? Do we have any writing from Morning Township? I have just one. You know what? I'll go make copies. How about that? Well, I don't do copy down. Oh, if you file. go, I'll, we'll make copies before everybody leaves and they can have it. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Okay. So there's no quarterly charge that needs no, to be addressed? The quarter, no, the quarterly charge is for the unpaid amount. No, well, there's a motion and a second. Yes. But that, that's what we pay to get the water hooked up. Correct. Right. And then we'll have to wait until we get the donation for the actual fountain water. where the water comes out. And, and the work and the labor. Right. This just, just gives us 
the ability to do it. We still have to pay the labor, which is no. Everything is going to be the gentleman is going to be digging everything out for. But us. that's donated right. labor. Right. This is cost for the township. Yes. We have so, to but this us. can't go forward until we make sure that the person comes up with the money, right? No. No. We're, we're saying we, if we're we going pay to, that, I can make it happen. We're you going give me to that do money, this regardless because our intention is to have water public water fountain there regardless but with only a month to go if we don't get a fountain in this year that's not a great great loss but we can do fountain first thing next year because it'll be basically mostly surface work so we won't have to do any, any site and, uh, so that's that's the premise I think that Linda's trying to convey and the, there's two donors here one for the fountain one for the pipes underground the gentleman who's willing to do the pipes in the ground is even willing that the, if we order the fountain and it comes in, he'll store it until the spring to put it in there. I mean, you know, he will probably store it in the Emporium. This goes from the road on Rhodes Road. Remember we moved that hydrant? It allows us to tap into that. That's We have to pay that fee to tap into that, and that's what that is. And it's no labor, no anything. It just for the right to be able to do that. That's what we have to pay. And right. Everything else to put it in is it's extra, right? Because we if, if we weren't us, yeah, if we weren't us, it would be three thousand eight hundred ninety-one dollars and forty cents. Yeah. But that's because right. we are us, three stuff, they reduced it by okay. almost half. So, so the motion then is to authorize one thousand five hundred ninety-one dollars and forty cents for the drinking water connection and fees. To yeah, it's to Orient Township. With Orient Township. Does that mean that we will never have a quarterly charge? Water you will not have a quarterly charge, you will have a water bill, water bill. of the $30 or 29 okay. or yeah. 25 50 I don't even know what the number yeah. is. I think it's $29, she said. I mean, it's, it's pretty much and it's a quarterly. flat rate unless you go over so many gallons per month. And that's a quarterly bill. Right. And that's $29 a quarter for the flat minimum charge. And you will, in the proposed budget, you'll see that there is a line item for for that as well. Yep. So, okay, uh, we have a motion in support. Is there any discussion on the motion? We can have a roll call on it, please. Okay. Mr. McDonald. Yes. Mr. Nichols. Yes. Mr. Bruce. Yes. Mr. Eric. Yes. Uh, Mr. Wright. Yes. And Ms. Steele. Yes, ma'am. Yay. <laughs> okay. Motion passed. Folks, we've done, through Linda, a lot of work this year on the trail. Some of it we were cleaning up from last year's work, but um, I mean, this is this is a whole other degree of activity that really is benefiting the public and, and you know as well as the trail. So I think it's really good. Okay, uh, the brush cutting quote. Um, we started discussion on this, Linda, and, and one of the questions that was brought to my attention uh, and had been in the back of my mind is, if Keith Litchfield comes through and creates a Punjai forest yes. again, yes. what are we going to do? I mean, uh, Curtis, you had concerns about cleanup. Yeah, that, yeah. 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 last year was a nightmare. What, what, and I don't think this includes cleanup. It, it does just not. means he's making a pass through on each side of the trail with a, a 14 foot wide mower. And, and my concern is, and he can't go, he wants to do five feet on the other side. He can't do five feet on the entire section of the trail because, you know, there's a whole lot of everything in the way. There's trees, you know, there's gas pipes, there's everything on that, on some of those sections of the trail. This does not include cleanup. The difference between this and what happened last year was the areas that were cut last year some of that, that area hadn't been cut in years, years and years. So you had trees that were, you know, several inches in diameter. This is more small brush. There will be some cleanup. I'm not delusional, but I'm not, it's not going to be as dramatic as last year. Um, I think if we do this twice a year, it's going to be like a, a stern mowing kind well, of deal. Well, that, yeah. that's the other point is yeah. this, this machine can, reach out where the residential type yeah. mowers that we currently
currently have contracted for only cut on the very, on just off of the travel portion. And not very far because they don't want to risk damaging their equipment getting into the, the light, even the light brush. So that is the one thing about this process is it's basically a brush hog and it'll cut anything that's there, which I think that's what you're saying, yeah. Linda, is, is that it'll, it'll do a little bit more than what the residential cut does. Yes, and right now what we're fighting and in, in, uh, complaining about it is the vines. The vines are taking over everything. They're growing into the trail. I mean, it's not that we're cutting like autumn olive back. We're cutting these vines back. These vines are actually growing into the trail. Uh, they're <coughs> pulling the trees down. If we can keep them back even a few more feet, it just makes trimming throughout the season and mowing better. The commercial mowers, I can get my brush hog in there and we can keep it back. And it just makes it better. We can see if we have some erosion. I found some erosion along the trail when I was doing some trimming this summer that needs to be addressed. Some ditching out that needs to be done. You know, some maintenance issues that you can't see until you go in there and you start removing all this stuff. And then you find it. So, so for our, the council's consideration, are you recommending that we do do this? I think so. I, I think it's a good idea. Um, you know, this we'll see, this fall? This that? fall. He wants to do it. He wants to get it on the schedule by the first week in November. I got an email from him last night, and he would like to do it after the lease fall, but before the 8th of November. So he wants to next week, the week after. <laughs> the what? Deer hunting. Deer hunting. Deer hunting. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Well, some fool gave me a uh, conservation okay. officer phone number too. So, <laughs> so have you given us your? Uh, your best arguments? Yeah, I think we should do it. I really do. And if it works out well, he recommends it in July. I'm not very confident that no. July is a good month no, for I that. I don't think so. Um, if, if we're going to do it, I think we should start it on the rotation in the fall and see how we do it. Um, I've had some pretty good success keeping the trail clear this summer uh, just because of the dra dramatic cut we did last year. We've been able to trim it back. I've been doing the brush yeah, off the mowing. Your billy goat. The billy goat. I'm telling you what, that thing's a lifesaver. But I think if we do it at least once a year, do an aggressive cut before the fall, then when we're in the spring, we're not just fighting what was left over from last year. We're starting the new. So I, I recommend it for the fall. Well, the only caveat I have to add to that is, is that um, I think we need to have Linda there when it's cut. And if the results aren't as desired, we're done. Um, because I, that was, it was too much, the complaints we received when we had the trees cut back. It was just, well, look, and we spent a lot of money kind of getting back to where we are now. So I, I'm all for doing it if, if it's going to be monitored, Linda. Well, I have, I have no problem. I, I enjoy working with Keith, okay. keeping him company. <laughs> okay, well, then it's up to the council. So, Do we want to move forward with this? This would, <clears throat> this would come out of the maintenance of grounds. Mm -hmm. So, Yes, Curtis? Uh, a few questions. Are we locked into July and October? No, we can do anything we want. Okay. I yeah. mean, this it's is our for one-time only. <clears throat> one-time only. Um, basically, this is going to be one-time only. We're going to see how it goes. If it's not good or it doesn't meet our needs, we're done. Um, if it meets our needs, then we'll readdress it in the spring and going into next year to see. Maybe we only do it once a year. Maybe we do it twice a year. Maybe we do it, you know, but I think if we do a little bit every year, we're not gonna have that dramatic cut that we did last year. And that was a nightmare, just a nightmare. What's the range of this one? From where to where again? From Boardman to Indianwood. So it's a lot longer than what we did last year. And, you know, the price is pretty good. And I, I spelled it out, Mike, see my emails, from Boardman to Indianwood, and he said 1250. How much money is left in the maintenance fund? Uh, $3,432.96. Okay. Less the amount. Less for the, for the fund. Yeah. Right. So we're going to be nip and tuck. And close. Yeah, and it's it's we're at the end of the budget year, so that's probably not. Is there any yeah. other projections you have that might come down the trail here? A few dollars here or there, but I don't think, you know, Nothing I need some rock, you know. Not, not a contract and service. Oh, no, no, no. It's just, I need some rebar, I need some rock, I need a couple of boards, things like that. Okay. That's so the brush that's cut, who cleans it up, Linda? Yes. 
Well, he did run this mower uh, when he did the uh, tree trimming previously uh, a year ago. And uh, it isn't going to get into the, it's not going to cut three inch, you know, saplings. So I don't think he's going to get into any trouble or any, into anything where he's going to end up leaving a nub sticking up. It, it, that machine, as, as good as it is, it's not designed. For that. It's, it's a brush hog. So, um, is it horizontal, vertical? Well, it's, it's a wing. It's got wings oh, it's that, wing. that can float, okay. you know, up and down with the trail. So, okay. I think if Linda feels it's pretty important that we do this yeah. now, I would make a motion that we approve $1,250 for the brush cut uh, from Keith uh, Litchfield. Okay. Is there support for that motion? I'll support that. Mr. Pearson? Okay, is there any discussion on the motion further? Curtis? Yes, I'd like to see um, a proof of insurance with the Pelican Trail Council as additional insured. Absolutely. And also a, uh, a clause to terminate if you're not satisfied with the service. That's a good point. Absolutely, Linda. no problem. And what, you know, he's going to have a minimum charge mm -hmm. for coming down. I case. mean, that's fine. It's not, you know, if, if he says, okay, I can, I can terminate, but we need to know the bottom line of what it's going to cost if we have to. Mm -hmm. Because you can give him directed service. If he, there are areas of the trail where that machine will work very well. Yes. In other areas, um, like in Addison and that, that may not, uh, you're only going to get another foot or so width. It's just. If you just can't go. Right. There's just right. spots you can't get to. But that is important. Right. Did he indicate how long it would take him to do this? He said a day. You could do the whole thing in a day. Yeah, he said it would take a day. I would be surprised. I, I would say probably two. I mean, seriously, it would take. Yeah, it's going to be two. I think he's. I think he's over estimating his ability. I think it's a lot more involved, especially if I'm hanging around. <laughs> well, in his email, I think yeah. you said one to three. Yeah, one to three. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a good solid two days. So yeah. And that's weather permitting. Weather permitting, <clears throat> and you know how I, how nudgy I am. So. <laughs> okay, so we have a motion and a support. Are there any further questions? And we have amendments. Yes, Kevin? Just last year when he did it, he did have those uh, warning signs for trail users. I assume that will Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah, yeah. warning yeah. signs. Thank you for that, Kevin. Okay, if there are no further questions, we'll have a roll call vote on that then, please. Okay. Mr. McDonald. Yes. Mr. Nichols. Yes. Mr. Pearson. Yes. Mr. Eric. Yes. Mr. Wright. Yes. Ms. Steele. Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Okay. Finally, for new business, um, I guess I want to ask the council if we want to keep our trail manager or not. <laughs> Bad timing since we've already approved everything, but. but I, it sure cost us a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there there is a a, a contract in the uh, packet not under 9E, and um, there are a few modifications. Uh, one of them because she's already our our uh, contracted uh, uh, trail manager. There's no uh, reduction in in pay or anything for trial period. Um, Curtis, you had sent me an email. You had a couple I did. points. I did. The I first one is on page one, uh, item number one, indicating it says the treasurer of the Pelican Trail Management Council will process payment to the contractor for the preceding month. Currently, Oxford Township is processing the payments. Okay. Well, we can uh, or designee them, the, the PATC man, manager or designee. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can make that change. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, just so that we get a, a certificate, certificate of insurance with the insurer okay. from the contractor. Oh, and also the laptop, computer, and cell phone. Yes. Do we supply you with those two? Yes. Ones? Yes. yes. We, we had gotten them from Pat Ball, the predecessor. Transferred over. And so it was 
went to her, and then she ended up having to get a new phone, but okay. that's all been worked out. Is the laptop sufficient? Yes. Okay. And you are thinking of getting a printer, right, this year? No, um, the printer I have that Pat had works, and I just use my, my laser printer at my house. It's much quicker and faster. That was part of the new budget yeah. made provisions for okay. equipment, and that was one of the items. Yeah, I, we don't really, I, we're good. And, uh, with the cell phone, as long as we provide the cell phone, are we paying the bill as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think it's twenty-five dollars a month. I think previously it was thirty dollars a month, but now we're on the um, Oxford Township plan, so it's only twenty-five dollars a month. Should that be still on this allowance? But there's no allowance. Uh, Joe pays that directly out. It's, it's owned by the. It's okay, that's what you're saying. Owned by the, the, owned by the phone plan. plan. Yeah. We're the owner. The, okay. the council is the owner. So. Okay, are there any other questions? Donnie? I'm just going to make a motion to um, have the manager, <coughs> not the manager, the um, chairperson uh, make the necessary changes and sign on behalf of the council. Um, and offer the contract to, to Linda Moran. Yes. And thank Linda for her hard work and service. And I love the apple trees at the those here. Those here. No, I was like, they're just, they're just, they're just, I love the women touches on the trail. So thank you. I love them you in like the meeting, too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the rose bushes? Did you like those rose bushes? Okay. okay. I'll support you. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Alden. So we have a second from Elgin Nichols. Are there any other questions on the motion to offer the contract to Linda Moran? <coughs> One year contract, $20 an hour. Uh, 20 hours a week, um, and that that would be supported in the proposed uh, 2018 budget as well. Okay, can we have a roll call then, please, Linda? Yes. Mr. McDonald. Yes. Mr. Nichols. Yes. Mr. Pearson. Yes. Mr. Eric. Yes. Mr. Wright. Yes. And Ms. Steele. Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, Linda, see me after the meeting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Old business. Well, we have the uh, item F picnic <coughs> oh, oh, my, my bad. Go ahead. Um, we are up to nine hundred and seventy dollars. I am so happy to say, and um, I would like to authorize the trail manager to proceed with purchasing the table and the money sitting in Oxford Bank and the shortage. Uh, if we don't collect it by the time the table comes here, I will pay. Yay. How much do we owe? Is it eleven hundred dollars? Right, eleven hundred dollars. Yeah, past it. Who's collecting the money? It goes right to Oxford. I uh, uh, give it to Curtis. He gives it to Joe. And Joe puts it in the bank or Lindsay. Can you find my ten dollars? I did, and I deposited. I just okay. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Yay. Doing, There's more here. Fifty bucks, Mike. Oh, thanks. I already gave 50. He did, he's already got it. There's another 50. There's 100. That was from Algernon. Hey, if I had your money, I'd burn mine, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I got all my money by now. So you put the names on there to give them. I don't think they would burn out any money. And you give them the money. Have so how much are we short? Have the names to it. Yes. Okay. That's what I was so we're at 1,070. How much you need? 1,085. Is it 1,080? Or maybe it's 1,200. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll pay up the difference. Yeah, I know. Right. Right. Come, up Come on, Maureen, cough it up. Yeah. Well, you are so <laughs> the wrong person. Yeah. There's a chair I took here work, work off. You guys owe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so was it, did uh, Donnie make, who made a motion? Donnie made the motion. Donnie, yeah. was there support to authorize the trail manager to order the Memorial bench for Sue Galares? Not yet. I'll make it. Thank you, Eric. I guess I should wait for Don to get back. She's printing off some hundreds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Still We're 1170 hours. right now with an estimated, or uh, excuse me, 1070. So 30, 15 bucks? 30 left to go, or okay. is the quote, and then Linda corrected it at 1085. It's like 1085. Give me 30, I'll be happy. 
<laughs> What's $30? <laughs> it's $30. You sign a contract, look what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's always been happening. <laughs> yeah, I'm good for 20 Oh, there's another 20 All right. Well, Memorial Bar, I saw the moss flying out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be yeah, another, you know what gotta be another 20 in there. Yeah, auto workers aren't everything that the public thinks they are. Yeah, you're telling. You're telling. <laughs> I gotta find oil over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I really yeah. hope not. Okay, we'll take a brief recess while we wait for Donna. Okay, so now we're only short how much? Negative $5. Negative $5. We're short now we're at $1,090. I need to buy the little bracket that I put in the cement so I can oh, get some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you pick up any pop bottles or cans I on the train? I don't have any pop bottles. I got a pop bottle. I'm saving it. I'm saving it for something special. And that one's done as a Thank you. Yep. We're all the money in to save our clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I just got phone calls from the others in the day. I want to do a whole council. Yeah. Are you thinking about votes next year? Or? Sure. Okay. You know what? It was such it was such a hit with the kids and the families and everything. It brought like, it was it was just for us to get to. It was a big promotion. That's what I understand. I understand. So. Correction. Maybe you're ready. Okay. Good. Good. Thirty dollars. You're thirty bucks short now. Mike just. He got some moss out of his wallet. <laughs> well, I think Mike already gave some. Cool. Bruce shamed me. Okay. That's what it was. <laughs> I just, okay. I just printed that deal. So okay, we, Donnie, we had a motion from um, from you and uh, a second by Eric Sound to authorize the trail manager to proceed with the purchase and installation of the memorial bench for Sue Bel Airs at the Powell. Powell Park, right? Correct. Okay, so if there's no further discussion on the motion, we'll have a roll call vote, please. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Nichols? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. Mr. Eric? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. And Ms. Steele? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, motion carried. All right. Um, moving on to public comment. Any further comment? Hearing none. Board members, Eric, anything you want to discuss? No, okay. all set. Curtis? Yeah, I'd like to back up to old business, 2018 uh -oh. budget consideration. Oh! <laughs> well, I almost got out of here without. <laughs> What's wrong? You said you want to do that. Oh. I stand corrected. Oh. My apologies. My apologies. Time for a new chairperson. So no, guys, no. Start Curtis would be a great one. I no, agree. Curtis needs to be a secretary. Got, he's organized, organized, intelligent, constantly. And thorough. Yep, I agree. Got a good reputation. We'll handle that. We'll handle that in January. Just yeah. be ready here. Curtis. 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 Bruce, how many boards am I now? Five. I don't know. You're going to be on more shortly. <laughs> <laughs> on a vacancy. <laughs> I got a full-time job going to board meetings. <laughs> okay, council. Um, there's a there's a proposed budget on uh, for item 10A in the last two pages of the packet. Um, I guess now's the time. Let's discuss it. Hopefully, if we can't or don't adapt tonight, we'll have to do it in November. So please, this could be a big leg up to get this all ironed out tonight, at least, and we can make the changes. It's not that big. Who would like to go first? I, guess I, I see that we do have a 10% increase. Does that have to be approved by all of our boards first? Well, that's that was the idea last month when I recommended that the representatives on the trail council go back and find out if there was going to be any objection to that. Well, I didn't have a board meeting. I don't have one until November. Is that our fault? No, that was that was the. Um, no, I understand. The, the airways. I should make uh, Italy's fault. I <laughs> okay. Um, well, this this budget is presumes that there will be an increase. If there isn't, um, then we'll 
will have to make other adjustments, I guess, is the bottom line. I was happy with it. Looks like the increases <coughs> that we did for maintenance were um, based on our donations and sales and reimbursement. So I, I'm assuming that we will come through. So did, uh, let me just ask this. Did everybody else go back to their boards and their boards all said yes? We're the only one that didn't meet. Not, we, not formally. We adopted our budget, and our budget did not reflect the increase. But what we'll do is a budget amendment during the course of the year because it was minimal. Yeah. Wasn't it urgent? I mean, yes, it was. We had, yeah. I think we had like yeah. the nine thousand something, which was originally uh, donated this year, nine thousand eight thirty-eight. Right. So it would be under serious consideration. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, I just don't want to speak until I know for oh, sure. Oh, absolutely, but, but yeah, the, I brought it up for the last, the previous two meetings just so that there would be enough lead time to put the feelers out and make sure the member communities were comfortable with the idea, so. And, and, I, and our budget has not been adopted yet, but it has been right. As, proposed with the increase in our budget, right. so. Yeah. Well, see, my budget doesn't come up until April, so. I just got to get it okay from my board, that's right. all I'm saying. Yeah, that's, and, I, and I still do too. And, that, and this is predicated on that. And naturally, uh, we, we do maintain a balanced budget, so if we don't get the income, we won't be spending the dollars. And we'll know, Linda, and we'll, and we'll know that um, probably by June of next okay. year for sure. What if I find someone? Find what? What if I find someone? That's, well, it's always what well. yeah. we are actually counting on that. <laughs> what kind okay. of a deadline do you want on this? As far as the well, decision. Well, my process right now, Elgin, is is that we will move forward with the uh, increase, with the assumption that the increase is going to be levied, and barring the unforeseen, at this point, if anybody's objecting. If any community objects, then we'll just we'll, we'll have to deal with it at that time. But I would imagine that if all the communities don't agree, that we will not we're not going to increase it out of proportion. For uh, the formula will be as it was. That would be the bottom line, and we'll have to make adjustments in that regard, which would basically it won't strain us. In the, in the, as far as our contracted services, we can cover the increased hours for the trail manager. We've got quite a bit of money for the maintenance of grounds and the other, the other categories that we really need uh, to keep the trail going. Um, but uh, it would certainly, with, with the changes that we've wrought in the past two years, I think uh, people can see plenty of justification for the money. To, is there, sorry, no, go right ahead. Uh, is there a, a thought of bringing back the zombie run, or is that going to be history? I would like to bring it back next year. Um, I think we may have to tweak it a bit. The time of year, it seems like everybody's doing a 5K, everybody's doing a, a zombie run, a zombie walk, the whole deal. So maybe a fall festival in September-ish, <coughs> rather than a zombie run, because we're just kind of fall, and we're just becoming too saturated with all these zombie activities, you know, uh, Scarecrow Festival. It's really hard in October too. We have Winterfest, we have Homecoming. To find volunteers of the school, track and different people to help volunteer, it's becoming very hard because we've got all these activities going on. We've got cross country, we've got soccer tournaments. It's I can't get kids out there to help. So and those are, you know, the ones that want to come out and be <coughs> zombies. So I'm thinking maybe a fall festival, fall run instead of a zombie run. That's, yeah. uh, as council, some members will recall that the zombie run was initiated by the previous trail manager. It was his project, and I think we can do the same with, uh, with Linda. If she has a modification or another idea um, and she wants to manage it, um, the only downside I can see is, is and we, we've already kind of crossed that hurdle, is by not having a run this year, you, you lose that momentum that, that those types of activities create. But uh, I, I think we're all open to, to, to uh, 
new ideas. Someone asked me actually yesterday, there is a, a run that they do with a horse, a runner and a horse. So you have a runner run to a certain distance, they tag off like a tag team, and then the horse continues on down the, on the way to the next runner, and then the runner runs a distance. So horses are not allowed to run, they're only allowed to walk, but the runners can run. And that's kind of, <coughs> it's interesting. I don't know if it'd work for us. Okay, well, you think on that. I will. And we'll I'll get back to it. That sounds like a ride with a fellow, but there's horse. I know, it's just, it sounds bad, but, right. you know. I'd like to see the same thing, except for porcupines. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a try. Okay, can we uh, continue that with the budget? Other points that need to be made? Do we have a wish list for 2018 equipment and hardware? I'll ask her that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if somebody would leave the keys in Aaron's Bobcat, I'd be fine. Um, basically, I've got the equipment that I, ha I need. I really don't need anything else. From time to time, I may need to rent a post hole digger, um, you know, maybe rent a Bobcat if I can't steal one from Aaron if he's not, you know. That kid wa watches stuff. We, we pay for repairs yeah. out of there, too, as well. Though. Yeah, I don't believe, you know, except for minor, you know, sharpening, well, we just paid a seventeen hundred dollar bill for for sharpening and uh, repair of Billy Goat. And yeah. I mean, yeah. well, I mean, it, it can get yeah. expensive. It gets, it gets expensive, yeah. but I think what is it, ten thousand? Yeah. yeah, I think ten thousand should be sufficient okay. to maintain that. I think ten grand should be. Well, that's one area that we would probably have to look at if we don't uh, yeah. if we don't get the uh, ten percent because that's predicated on having available funds. Yeah. I'm assuming that you've already looked at the budget and everything's going to fit. Right? Yeah, I can make it work. <laughs> yeah. Well, so do we want to adopt this then? Is that what we're saying? I'll make a motion that we adopt the budget as long as my board is okay with the 10%, which I don't expect any. Well, that would, hold the, that would hold the same for right. But um, I would make the motion that we adopt this and I will say that, yes, Linda has done a tremendous amount of work. And when you get this amount of work done, it costs us money. But in the long run, uh, eventually it should slow down because we have an awful lot of improvements on that. So I'm uh, making a motion that we adopt this budget for 2018. Sound uh, Donnie <coughs> Okay. Are there any questions on the motion or on the budget? Yes, sir. Do we need a line item for legal fees? With these trespassing cases, right now I don't know well, how. We cover those. Well, they're it, 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 if they're written people. under the local ordinance, yeah. usually okay. the local community would would cover it. However, uh, it's kind of like we'll consider a continuing. Oh, do we, we don't. Know. We can't bring. We can't bring um, anybody. We can't write tickets. We can't bring anybody to justice. We have to rely on the sheriff to do it. And I have no problem having our prosecutor and our chef, sheriff, and same sense. with you. I mean, sure. we, we get that service included. Right. Same with us, yeah. Yeah, the only time we would need legal fees if somebody was injured on the trail, to say. Oh, and we have insurance, insurance would cover that, and we would cover the legal fees under our insurance. Insurance would not cover So, we should have that. <clears throat> Any other points? The, the balance is seventy one thousand four hundred fifteen dollars, correct? Yes. yes. Income and expenditure balance. And again, if we have to amend because of changes, income, whatever, we'll we'll just have to do that. So and I, I will su also suggest that our, at our November meeting we may well do some more amending of the twenty seventeen budget. We'll we'll that will, I'm gonna wait to hear what Joe Ferrari has to say about it and then he's the one that's got to get the audit passed for the township so <coughs> our, our accounts have to be audited as well but um, yeah. so we have a motion in this to adapt the 2018 budget um, there were no changes in numbers of categories so um, we have a roll call then Linda for that please Mr. McDonald yes Mr. Nichols? Yes. Mr. Pearson? Yes. Mr. Eric? Yes. Mr. 
Right. Yes. Johnny Steele. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Motion carried. Thank you, folks. Uh, any final comments? If not, uh, when is the next meeting? Oh, oh, oh. I, have, I have one. Just one quick. I swear to God. So okay. Next meeting is November 15, 2017, at the Oxford Village office. Are they always at three? Yes. Yes. Okay, and do we normally do away with the December one? Normally. It's done. Okay. It's already gone. It's already off. Isn't it? Okay, I don't think oh, it's on. It, was, it wasn't on the original. I don't think it's on. Okay. And are we on board member comments yet? Yes. Did we get any yet? No. Iron Bell ribbon cutting next week. That's uh, my I wanted to say, um, it was my turn. I don't know where we just started. Well, I started out of order. Curtis got me back on track. I did. So Eric had passed. I passed. Curtis? I'll pass. Um, we have, um, you know, the 1856 schoolhouse that we moved uh, this Sunday from uh, 12 o'clock till 3 o'clock. We're having the grand opening. We have entertainment. We have free food. Um, and uh, we're going to give out just some thank yous to the community, all the volunteers. So if you know where that is, just north of the Pollyann Trail by uh, a mile on Rochester Road at the Watershed Preserve, just in case anybody's interested. What's the date again? Uh, this Sunday, 12 o'clock, 27 o'clock, I believe. Okay. Um, where? On Rochester? On Rochester, Rochester Road, yeah. where our 300 and some acre nature park is, right on the left, just before you hit the up here kind of line. Oh, You'll oh, see oh, it. oh, okay. Donnie, any comments? Just my Iron Bell Trail thing, okay. and I pass it out. No comments. Kevin? Okay, if there's no further business to come before the board, a motion for adjournment would be in order. Okay. All motion that we adjourn. All the nipples. Is that Eric Seth? All in favor of the motion to adjourn, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, please say no. Go. See you November 15th, Oxford Village. <laughs>